This has arrived in, uh, since Monday, six, seven balls. In my house, I saw camera since six kilograms. With Indonesian warships closing in on East Timor, the Fretland Party declared independence from Portugal. A strange army. Every decision is reached by a democratic vote. They vote for who will lead them, they vote for when and how they will attack. They vote on when they'll break off an attack and return home. Only their elected leader can override the vote. But if the soldiers feel strongly enough about his decision, they can have another meeting and vote him out of office. After about two hours, they decided that the planned attack would go ahead and that we could go with them. They had an odd assortment of weapons, modern automatic rifles, Second World War American bazookas, ancient German Mauser rifles, and a pre-war German machine gun. On this sortie, Breton soldiers crossed for the first time into the no-man's land area, bridging the border. They said that UDT troops who'd been operating inside no-man's land had fled across the border. But from the Indonesian side, there was a steady barrage of heavy machine gun fire and 50 millimeter mortars. One of the three groups taking part in the action spent two hours pinned down on a hillside as the mortars zeroed in. During the action, we saw but uncomfortable weren't able to film because of the fading light, an Indonesian frigate which steamed across the river mouth marking the border and hove to well inside Portuguese territory. By the time the engagement was broken off, a three-mile stretch on either side of the border was blazing.